fennel pollen and peppermint. No go. Mm, but garlic salt and bubblegum ice cream. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is my birthday, and I need a spumoni ice cream cake. I was told that you are the berry to talk to. Here's the recipe. Oh, I don't need a recipe. I'll just make it my way. No, no, no. I want you to follow my Nana's recipe. Exactly. Make it work. Oh, um... Okay. That was Jen was the crema, the famous food critic. Making an ice cream cake for her is huge. This is great, Blueberry. <laughs> yeah, great. Recipe schmeshipy. I'll be fine. Ta-da! Uh, isn't a spumoni cake supposed to be green and pink? I went in a different direction. Um, Jen was was very specific. She wants this cake. We can help if you want. I'm fine. This is just my process. Well, let us know if you need anything. Uh, don't listen to them. Throw the recipe away. Live in the now. No, try your best to make her happy. It is her birthday. What's the first ingredient? Meringues. What's that? It's a dance! Let's dance! <laughs> what is she doing? It's her process. No! I have to concentrate! Uh... <sighs> no use. This is as impossible as licking your own elbow. I just said it was impossible! No, wait! I've almost got it! <sighs> Hey, aren't you two supposed to help me here? <laughs> you want help? I've got an idea. You can't buy a cake and pretend you made it. Oh, she can do anything she puts her mind to. Stop that! I'm the one who gets to use inspirational quotes. Fine. My work here is done anyway. Salt and vinegar chip. Oh. All right, that's enough. What are you doing? I'm sorry it's come to this, but I have to erase your memory. Oh, caca, oh. caca! Or you could tell me what's really going on. Oh. I didn't want anyone to know, but I'm dyslexic. It can make it hard for me to understand recipes, so I try to avoid them. I normally just follow my gut when coming up with new flavors. Wow. I know. So embarrassing. Oh, no. It's amazing. It is? Blueberry, you make the best ice cream I've ever tasted, and you don't use recipes. That's so cool. Really? Jen Waz wouldn't ask just any berry to make her ice cream cake. You're really talented in your own blueberry way. Pretty impressive. Thanks, Strawberry. So, how can I help? Well, I could use help with some of these letters. No problem. This is not exactly my Nana's recipe. <laughs> I added a touch of turmeric. It brings out even more flavor. Brilliant. Have a fantastic birthday! How did you know she'd like that? I had a gut feeling. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, Berries. We've dreamed of this moment. We've trained for this moment. This is our moment. <laughs> We've had so much fun together, which is what's really important. Right, winning sounds fun, too. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 It's been quite a day here at the Big Apple City All Skate Competition. Special thanks to our lively DJ. We've seen so many amazing routines today. Some interesting. Some different. Oh, I told you, I don't want to skate. I want to play the bagpipes. <laughs> And some, I'm not sure they were routines. Eyes for sale! Eyes for sale! 
And now, for the final routine of the competition, I'm proud to introduce the Berry Cake Blossoms! Okay, berries, deep breaths, and you know, do every move perfectly to win that trophy! Why isn't our music starting? Okay, let's do this. Good as ours. Uh huh. That's not our music. The crowd doesn't know that. Just go with the flow. Flow over there and get the DJ to fix the music. Don't let any berry know anything is wrong. Big smiles, big smiles. Dude, that's not our music. Also, have a wonderful day. <laughs> Year's all skate competition is the Berry Cake Blossoms! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yes! I can't believe you actually liked us. Of course, you were totally in the flow. And it was amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Your amazing thing. <laughs> Big Apple City is having a comic convention. Jack Kerberry, the creator of Tangerine Smash and Guava Girl, is gonna be there, and he's gonna judge the cosplay competition. Oh, that's right. I'm going as Tangerine Smash. As my berry bestie, I want you to be my Guava Girl. Absolutely. I'd be your sidekick any day. Perfect. We're gonna become Tangerine Smash and Guava Girl. Know every detail about them, like how Guava Girl got her powers? Rocketed here from the planet Guavatron? Wait, eight radioactive guava? Uh, guava rings? It's okay. We'll brush up on the details with some super berry training tomorrow. Here, in costume. Great, 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 great. I'm not gonna let you down. I know you won't. Go, go, Guava Girl! <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally gonna let her down. I'm her best friend. I need to be there for her, but I'm no comics expert. I have no idea how Guava Girl got her powers. A magical guava from her long lost grandmother. Huh? In the Tangerine Smash Summer Spectacular number 10. Sour grapes? You know comics? This is fantastic. You can teach me everything I need to know. Sure. There's only 35 years of history to cover. You should be an expert by next spring. To be an expert by tomorrow! <gasps> what? This headset is perfect! You can listen in and help me with the answers. <laughs> I'll be the best Super Berry sidekick ever! What could possibly go wrong? Hey, Guava Girl! Ready to fight evil wherever it sprouts? Ooh, you betcha! Huh? 
Time to separate the ripe from the rotten. Uh, I mean, <laughs> time to separate the ripe from the rotten. Let's go. Apple slice, wobble inch, tangerine smash. Who did tangerine smash fight in terrific tales of tangerine smash number one? Dr. Weirdo. Dr. Weirdo, of course. <laughs> What issue did Guava Girl meet her evil twin, Legume Lass? Legume Lass first appeared in Crisis on Infinite Crisps, issue four. Mm. What is the name of Guava Girl's pet hamster? I'd like a sour cherry ice cream, please, extra rhubarb. Huh? Uh, oh, whoops. The answer is... Ambrosia! I mean Ambrosia! To sour grapes, I'm gonna be the perfect superberry sidekick. So why don't I feel like a superberry? We are gonna be amazing! You know as much about Tangerine Smash and Guava Girl as I do! Oh, I don't know about that. You do! That's why the convention is gonna be so much fun. It's for berries who love comics, just like you and me. Wait, Orange, I'm sorry. I can't be your guava girl. What? Why not? You taught me super berries always do the right thing. And there's somebody else who deserves to enjoy this with you more than I do. Tangerine Smash, meet a better guava girl than I could ever be. Turns out, being a berry bestie doesn't mean you have to be your friend's everything. Sometimes it means stepping back so a new hero can rise. Smash. It's so huge. We're gonna bake every berry the biggest pie ever. Berries expect big things from short tart. Tart cake. I'm still workshopping the name. Anyway, all we need to do is mix our raspberry and strawberry fillings together, and then the Caconators bake it right here. And don't explode. Guaranteed no explosion. <laughs> <sighs> what? Oh, I just remember when we were very much not friends, and look at us now. Friends, partners, baking the magic happen together. It's nice. Don't make a big deal about it. Those two think they can be great friends and great bakers? Some berry needs to teach them how the world really works. Y'all know what ruins a cake. Of a baking? And they're baking? One wrong ingredient. One little mix-up and the whole cake collapses. Why don't y'all go mix things up? It is so nice of you to mix a filling for strawberries pie. It's our pie? Right. Strawberry was very clear. It's her pie. Raspberry was the assistant. The assistant? Check it out! Hoses to pump filling from the trucks. Am I brilliant or what? Do, do, do! <laughs> Give that knob a twist. Why do I have to twist the knob? Because you're closer? Mm. Ah! Whoa, not all the way. Mm. I guess she really doesn't like twisting knobs. Oppenheim! I definitely tripped and dropped my liver verse jelly sandwich. <laughs> you can't serve a pie you stick your hands in. I'll get it out. Ugh. I don't think strawberry pie filling smells super stinky. What are you talking about? Oh, just something I heard Raspberry say. <laughs> raspberry did not say that. What is she doing, Sam? <laughs> so gross. Gross? Seriously? Do you know what was in here? Um, of course I know what I put in my pie. Your pie? Oh, well, don't mind me. I'm just the assistant. Well, I guess I need an assistant because my pies smell so bad. Oh! <sighs> Hoopsa! Oh, yeah? Yeah, you want to scoop my gross strawberry filling out? Well, I'm just going to add more. All oh, her pie. So it's all strawberry filling, huh? No way, Parfait. Uh, get out of here. Also, 
this is better than a stinky pie? I never said anything about stinky pies. Well, I never said anything about an assistant. Then why are we fighting? I don't know. It seems very silly. Apologize for that. How about y'all have some of my new two-of-a-kind apple cranberry cake? Oh, oh, oh nice. yeah! I can't believe those two tricked us so Crab Apple could sell her double fruit dessert instead. I can't believe we fell for it. Maybe next time we should talk to each other before we end up covered in pie filling. <laughs> what happened? Just a little friendship explosion. Oh, but at least my cake and eaters did. Explode. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how are you going to clean this up? Okay, Strawberry Shortcake, it's time to bake Strawberry Shortcake. Does it stress you out because it's your name and it has to be perfect? <laughs> yes. But you can do this. After you give the Extraordinary Berry a good clean. So... You think she's actually gonna make it this time? I'm sure she'll... Oh. Uh, how's the shortcaking coming along, shortcakes? Great! Great, great, great. Just need to clean the truck, reorganize the pantry, binge the new season of my favorite cartoon on my favorite streaming service, and then... Ah! <laughs> oh. What you need is to stop procrastinating. Hmm. <laughs> time to go back to the swirly verse. The what? Oh, it's this place in my mind that Blueberry showed me. Pink sky, mountains shaped like ovens, herds of tiny food trucks. <laughs> it's where my lucky spoon talks to me. You think you get used to all the weird eventually. You don't. This helps how exactly? Last time my spoon told me that sometimes baking takes as long as it takes and patience is important. So maybe I wait and try strawberry shortcake another day and ooh. It never hurts to try. Gaze into the boundless sky. Countless strawberries frolic like twinkling stars. You're just one ingredient in this scrumptious universe. <laughs> ah, yes. I remember this. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> nice to see you again. <laughs> Why is all this mold everywhere, Spoon? It's easy for things to get moldy when you don't even... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Entirely too chatty for a utensil. <laughs> hey, you're a moldy version of me? So... I guess I need to learn something from you. Clear the clouds and grow That's and... That's not how this is gonna go. Dessert. What did you do to it? Oh, not me. You. You failed. Like you always knew you would. No, I'm a baker. I know how to make things taste... Disgusting and horrible. A failure every time and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Never hurts to try. It never hurts to try? And what happens when you fail? I try again. And fail again. And again. So why even try? Because doing nothing means I always fail. The only way to succeed is to keep trying again and again, no matter what. <laughs> I knew you'd figure it out. You always get there when you keep on trying. Welcome back. Well, baking does take as long as it takes. But I was so scared of failing, I wouldn't even try. And if I never try, I never succeed. It's time to fail! <laughs> so, about my swirly verse? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you 
sprouts have fun. Orange, listen to your sister. Cherry Crisp is in charge. Bye, Mom! Bye, Dad! Who's ready for the most awesome slumber party ever? I'm Hiya. down! Yeah. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome! Any ideas? Hmm. I'm gonna watch Baker's Massacre 4. Y'all can watch it with me. Unless you're too scared. Um. Or don't, whatever. How scary are the Baker's Massacre movies? <laughs> so scary! Oh, don't worry, Lon. I got you. The air smells spooky tonight. I'm in. Me too. Yes, sir. I'm not scared. Let's do it. No. Wasabi, don't go in the kitchen. Don't! Uh, the Beasley Baker isn't real. I'll be right back. Amateur. Never say, I'll be right back. Huh. Now if it was me, I... Ah! Never mind. Uh... That sure was fun, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And Noberry is scared, right? Not me. Nah. No. Nope. Cool. Me either. Okay. Night, berries. <laughs> Maybe the movie was a little scary, but I brought my lucky spoon in my backpack. And with my lucky spoon, I'll be safe. I just need to go get it. Take me, BC Baker! Kevin? Are you scared too? Me? Scared? No! Uh, what are you doing? Setting traps. I thought you weren't scared. Well, I'm not now that I've set traps. Do you very think Invisible. They're not invisible! But where did they go? They were probably taken by the Beastly Baker. Come on, we gotta find them. <gasps> Stay here. I'll be right back. I said it. You can't leave now. We need to stick together. Over here. <sighs> what the? You were the beastly baker. We thought you were the beastly baker. Oh, look, a cupcake. Don't blueberry it. <laughs> oh! uh, trap. Truthberry, who was freaked out by the movie? <sighs> Once we admitted we were all scared and took down Lemon's traps, it was way less scary and awesome. Aw, now that's adorable. <laughs> well, um, I'm just gonna go get a snack from the kitchen. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oops, forgot that one. Lemon! <laughs> I can't believe Kiki Keelime is doing her New Year's Eve special here at the Berry Works. Last year, she gave out tons of free stuff to the audience. Free phones, digital cookbooks, and... Laptops. <gasps> Berries love the laptops. Happy New Year, Strawberry. I was wondering, would you bake something for me to give away to represent the Berry Works? <gasps> I'll take the excited squeal as a yes. Can't wait to see what you bake up. Oh dear, you're not taking those cookies over to Kiki, are you? I was! Since her special is live from the Berry Works, she actually But you're not the only baker here. It wouldn't be fair to every Berry else to have just you representing them. Oh, well, I didn't mean it like that. Good. I'll just let Kiki know you decided not to bake anything for her. 
maybe crab apple jam is right? I don't want my baking to make any berry feel bad. Well, maybe next year, Custard. Talking <gasps> to cats? Pretty pathetic. Ugh, what are you doing here? I'm here for the free stuff. I got a laptop last year. Welcome to my favorite things. And here to represent the Berry Works is Crab Apple Jam, giving out her famous apple cinnamon cookies. cookies! What? These cookies are made even easier with my all-new Crab Apple Jam trademark mixers. You get a mixer. You get a mixer. Every berry gets a mixer. <laughs> Yay! But she said I shouldn't give away cookies because it wouldn't be fair. And now she's doing exactly what she told me not to do. Ah, uh, same old crab apple. Just like when I was her apprentice. What? You were Crab Apple Jam's apprentice? She taught me everything I know about baking. Most important lesson, treats are sweet, not bakers. A real baker gets their hands dirty. <laughs> What does this have to do with me? She stole your spotlight. Now it's your turn to get your hands dirty. Switch her ingredients, review bomb her website, or just march up on stage and call her a backstabbing baker live on television. Whatever it takes to get ahead. Doodles. Oh. She started it. Maybe I should tell every berry just how awful she is. berries to like me because I'm good at what I do, not because I made some berry else look bad. <sighs> Ooh, those smell great. Well, we've been so busy setting things up, we missed lunch. Oh, well, here you go. Some berries should enjoy them. Thanks, kid. Mm. <laughs> You've got to try this. These are exquisite. Who made the... the baker and the beanie? You mean strawberry shortcake? Huh? Strawberry shortcake, get up here! Ooh, good. <laughs> Crabapple Jam said you were too busy to bake anything for my special. What made you change your mind? Well, actually... Do it. Give in to your anger. You know, Crabapple Jam just reminded me of the kind of baker I want to be. And that's a baker who always has time to bake for her friends. Boring! Oh. Baking for friends. What a fabulous way to start the new year. Don't you think so, Crab Apple? I, uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, there, he's perfect. Ta-da! Is my snowman perfect too? Well, Mime, we missed you at the skating rink. I was busy babysitting Honeydew Sorbet. Me and Lime are making snowmen. Uh, you sure about that? What? Well, which one is Lime's and which one is yours, Honeydew? Oh, it's so hard to tell. Really? Well, I think it's pretty easy to... I don't know about you, Strawberry, but I think this snowman is something special. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you make a snowman. Its hands are coming out of its head. It's a snow freak. Snow, snow freak, freak, snow, snow freak. freak. <laughs> how am I supposed to make a snowman? Traditionally, a snowman is made up of three snowballs of varying sizes and a carrot nose, two eyes made out of coal, and... So I did it wrong. Um... Hey, you didn't do anything wrong. There's no one way to make a snowman, just like there's no one way to have a holiday. Snowflakes in the sky, as different as you and I. I like the snowflake's point of view. Feels a lot like me and you. So let's give our holiday a little tweak. Something perfect, magical, wonderful, and so unique. Oh, let's have a holiday our way. Anyway, we want to celebrate. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. OK. Do what we want all season long. Cause having fun is never wrong. Oh, let's, yes, let's have a holiday our way. Look at what we found. There's magic all around. Do what we feel. 
us. Uh, we were wondering if we could maybe make some snowmen with you, Berries. We're sorry. We shouldn't have called your snowman a snow freak. It's actually pretty cool. They all are. I don't know. What do you think, Honeydew? Hmm. Let's see what you got. <laughs> it's time for my favorite winter swirl activity, the secret swirl gift exchange. <laughs> now, I know gifts stress some berries out, but take it from a gift-giving pro like me, gifts are an art form. Just find inspiration in things your berry loves. Trust your gut. You'll be great. Then can we eat the paper? Um, no, we never eat the paper. Oh. You pick the paper out of the hat, and the name on it is who you buy a present for. <laughs> Ready to see who you got? You okay, Shortcakes? Cheese strudel and cherry streusel? Do those two berries do everything together? Ugh, what am I gonna do? I have no idea what to get them. Shortcakes, you're the best gift giver I know. We just need to figure out what they like. You got this. Orange is totally right. I'm just gonna follow them around. I got this. Hey, berry buds, what are you doing? Are you thinking about little fish in the ballerina outfits? No. Hey, give me back my dog, you rat. Are you thinking of a rat with a hot dog? Cha, yeah, we are psychic. <laughs> this is going to be impossible. I love the sounds of construction work with the cry of the whales. Totally. Uh, eh? The veil's boring. I hate this. Your senses. Oh. <laughs> the sauerkraut smells just like home. Delicious. Okay, I'm done now. But, huh? Oh, that should hang in the cumin time. My brush bag is incredible. I hate Nothing they do makes any sense. The only thing I got from any of that is that I think they like sauerkraut. Maybe. Oh, I'm a gift-giving failure. So, what did you decide? Sauerkraut cookies. Ta-da! Oh. Yeah? I know. There's only so much you can do with sauerkraut. You two ready to start? Everyone else is ready to go. Oh, looks like my perfect gift-giving streak is over. Let's go. <sighs> uh, cheese? Cherry? Here. <laughs> Well, at least try them before. <gasps> you got us, the hot dog rat. This small, dirty, disgusting rodent. Well, I, uh, no, wait. We love it. Wait, what now? We will name him Wilhelm Sauerkraut. Thank you, Strawberry. You are very wise, and we were wrong to judge you so harshly and make fun of your silly beanie hat. Oh, that's so, so hey, what's wrong with my beanie? Do you know what this means? That rats really like sauerkraut? I'm still the best at gift giving! I totally nailed it! See, Orange? It's like I said. You just have to trust your gut. Or in this case, the rat's gut. The... Oh, my guava, I gave them a rat. Uh, Berries? Maybe you should swing by the vet, you know? <laughs> Get all the shots, you need all the shots. One slice of pineapple, blueberry, and jalapeno pizza. Thanks, Spicy. The universe told me to try something new today. Nope, that's not it. Hmm, I'm just gonna go with the flow and see where the universe takes me. Ugh. Hmm. Nope, not this. Not this either. Definitely interesting, but no. Okay. Come on, universe. Okay. And... Oh! Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. oh, I was not right! Oh, I 
can't we get this? Just have to try harder. Hello, friends. The universe said I should try something new. What are you doing? We're figuring out our routine for the Big Apple City All Skate Competition. And it has to be perfect. Yes, yes, yes! Ugh. No. We've been rehearsing for hours and we can't get it right. We don't have time for fun. Again, from the top. Oh, the universe says there's always time for fun. No offense to you or the universe, but what we need is to work harder. It's a good thing the universe and I got here when we did. You two need to go with the flow. Working hard is lots of work. <laughs> Makes your life feel like it's all a test. Playing hard is way more fun. And it's also just much less stress. So close your eyes and take a breath. Embrace that inner glow, you feel that special feeling. Now you're in the flow. Time flies and your worries melt away. Freewheeling and carefree, anything is possible. Just trust, you've got everything you need. So just let go and go with the go with the flow. Having fun is just the way. Always something more to see, so open your eyes and look around. The whole world is as well. Each choice you make is what is best, cause you're in the flow. of Lime Chiffon and her dads to invite us to their berry bounty banquet. You sure they're okay letting us do the cooking? Well, I asked Lime about dinner, and she said her dads do not cook, so... We've got all the country favorites. Green bean casserole, apple souffle, stuffing balls, and the turducken. Because why have just turkey when, when you, you can, can have, have turkey, turkey, duck, and chicken? Ooh, and it's all homemade from scratch. Exactly the way a berry bounty banquet should be. Never fear, your banquet is here. Oh, but our banquet's already here? What the whipped cream is all that? You said your dads don't cook. Oh, we don't. This is catered. Organic turkey, oyster stuffing with cream sauce, lightly grilled vegetables, no messy souffles and overcooked casseroles here. Perfect and pristine, exactly the way a berry bounty banquet should be. What did you bring? Just some messy souffles and overcooked casseroles. Oh, wow, 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 two banquets in one. I mean, with so much food, where are we gonna even start? With, with mine. mine. You ever get that feeling that the teeny little mistake you made is going to turn into a big problem? Green bean casserole? Just like Granberry Jam used to make. 
Or, or perhaps you might prefer some lightly grilled green beans instead. Chunky gravy? Oyster stuffing with cream sauce? Stuffing bowl? Tasty and tossable. Cranberry sauce? Apple souffle? Scalloped potatoes? Stuff yeah! Sous vide turkey breast? Mac and cheese? Who wants to duck it? I don't even know what that is, but I do not want it on my table. Mm. Uh, Mika, a strawberry, uh, can you help me uh, paint the uh, uh, dishwasher in the kitchen? Why are they so upset? Some berries take their holiday traditions very seriously, and those two might seriously hurt each other. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. Who cooks a turkey, a duck, and a chicken uh -huh. together? Oh, yeah, okay, it is that bad. What are we gonna do? Um, did you just put hot sauce on that apple? I eat weird things when I'm stressed. That's it! She's got an idea. I have an idea! What do you have in your fridge? Mm -hmm. Um, what are you eating? Ice cream cereal, peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Hot sauce on fruit, yum. Ugh, why would you eat that when we have all this food right here? Because the Berry Bounty Banquet is about sharing the food you love with the berries you love. It doesn't matter how weird it is. It's who you eat with that matters. Maybe we got a little carried away. Point made. I've never actually had oyster stuffing before. You must try it. I've never thrown stuffing before. Oh, it is a thrill. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Lots of things can divide us, but food can bring us together. You just have to be willing to take a chance and try something new. Mm. Turducken. Mm. Somebody pass me that ice cream cereal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Attention, berries! Announcing our new promotion, Sweet Yourself Day. I want each of y'all to make a treat featuring your very own name. Like my crabapple jam, crabapple jam! Now, chop chop berry. <laughs> Orange Blossom Smoothie. Simple. I am going with a classic chocolate raspberry tart. How about you, Strawberry? Strawberry? <laughs> hey there! <laughs> What's up? What kind of strawberry shortcake are you making? Oh, so many options. You know, I just... <laughs> how to narrow them down, I don't know. I... <gasps> oh, fiddle faddle. I am all out of butter. You can't make strawberry shortcake without biscuits, and you can't make biscuits without butter. Okay, gotta go. Bye. We should check on her, right? <sighs> the thing about a friend as dramatic as strawberry is you can always tell when strawberry's avoiding something. This have anything to do with my niece hiding in her bed in the middle of the day? Yep. Good luck. Weird place to look for butter. <laughs> I suddenly didn't feel great. Figured I should get some rest. <laughs> I'll see you next week sometime. Strawberry shortcake? Are you trying to avoid making strawberry shortcake? What? Me? Psh, I'm a baker. I love baking. <laughs> in fact, I have some in the kitchen. I'll get it right now. Bye. She ran off, didn't she? Yep. <laughs> Shortcakes, just tell us what's up. What's up is rolling pins for sale. You can never have enough of these babies. Better test it out though. Hi, have you seen a sweet yet hyper berry in a beanie? Oh, she's in theater one. Popcorn. Seriously? This can't possibly get any more ridiculous! I wouldn't say that. Enough is enough 
all ready. You have anything to pop a balloon? Do you think this is too much? Nope. Spill it. What's up? Not me. <laughs> Cause you shot me out of the sky. <laughs> Get it? No more running. You know you can tell us anything? Okay. I can't make strawberry shortcake. What? But it's so easy. <laughs> Anyone with half a brain can... Sorry. I know. But this is my name. I can't just make any old strawberry shortcake. It has to be special. <sighs> Maybe that's silly. You'll get there. You're you. So you're not ready to make real strawberry shortcake yet. Let's come up with something that's close. Together. It's a strawberry short cake. <laughs> See, because it's, it's tiny, it's, it's so tiny. Well, isn't that inventive? It's easy when you've got very besties like mine. Tonight's Sherbet Solstice sleepover will bring us rest and relaxation. And we have everything we need to make the traditional Solstice Sherbet. That's right, we have milk, Sugar crystals, sour grapes is bringing the apple puree, and it all goes in my super duper piping bag 3000. <sighs> Tonight is going to be so peaceful. So. Peanut butter crisp! Jelly roll! No, 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 no! Yeah! <laughs> <Slumber> party! <laughs> Not the universe, a mix-up on my calendar. But there's plenty of room for both of you to have fun with your friends. As long as they stay out of the living room. No, oh, we need the living room! They brought the newest Funnel Cake Fury video game! Oh, don't worry. We can have two separate sleepovers at the same time. It could be fun. See? Everybody's getting along. <laughs> this might be a long night. Focus on the sounds of sherbet. Is that Funnel Cake Fury 3? Funnel, Funnel Cake, Cake Fury, Fury 4? Uh. Wait up! It's gonna be a really long night. <sighs> And then they got out of their car and turned and saw six fun monsters! I was totally rejuvenated. Not really, but she needs a win. I wrote a solstice song for us to sing while we make the sherbet. Oh, the sweet blueberry. Where are the ingredients? And my piping bag 3000. And blueberry's brother? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Stop! Okay. Let's all take a breath and really. <laughs> Okay, we're doing this! I brought the... Ah! Nope. and he has something to say. Sorry I messed up your sleepy solstice thingy. <gasps> I feel amazing. The sherbet really opened my pores. Wow, what a great night's sleep. <gasps> you were exactly what we needed to bring us rest and rejuvenation. Oh, stop hugging me, gross. I'm glad you two are getting along. 
It'll help the cleanup go faster. Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Sorry, Sherbet Solstice didn't turn out exactly the way you planned. It was better. I wonder if everything Bagel's friends can come for the Eclair Equinox. Next time, we'll be ready for them. <laughs> getting the hang of this skating thing thanks to my fantastic teacher. You're doing great, Skate Cakes. Follow me, like we practice. Right behind you. me to do that? The triple tiramisu twist? You're not ready for that. I'm not even ready for that. But I am ready for pizza. Want to grab a slice? Uh, I'll catch up. I tell you, Spicy, teaching a berry to skate works up quite an appetite. Well, if you taught Strawberry to do that, then you must be starving. That's a syrupy single leg slide. Where did Shortcakes learn the syrupy single leg slide? So, who taught you how to do that? Oh, no, Barry. I saw Crepe Suzette do it and thought I'd give it a try. I can show you if you want. She can show me? Let me show you something. The donut dip. No big deal. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. What if I added something at the end and called it the donut dip? With sprinkles. <laughs> what do you think? It is on. Wait, what's on? I guess every berry likes a little competition, right? Triple tiramisu twist. Wait, I thought you said neither of us were ready for that. I didn't want you to feel bad. Are you okay, Orange? Orange? me that competition wasn't quite as friendly as I thought. <sighs> Pizza for your thoughts? It's just, you're really good at skating. Maybe better than me, but being good at sports and stuff is supposed to be my thing. I'm only figuring out skating because of you. Friends make each other better. Like <gasps> whipped cream and pie. <laughs> Maybe you could teach me that syrupy single leg slide? <laughs> Thank you! No autographs, please. I'm glad we're done competing. Totally. Competing is so five minutes ago. <gasps> the, the Big, Big Apple, Apple City All Skate, Skate Team Competition? competition? So, when you said you were done competing... I meant you and me, obviously. But teaming up against other berries? Absolutely! Come on, Skate Cakes. We better start practicing. Woo! What a day! But we finally finished our last order. Now, we just have to deliver this to... 1313 Scary Berry Lane. Did you say... 1313 Scary Berry Lane. What the? It is not even cloudy. Marzipan Manor, the haunted house at the top of the hill. Hold up, hold up. Haunted? Ugh. What a bunch of applesauce. You don't believe in haunted houses, do you? Of course not. 
But like, tell me everything. How about I show you? Okay, so it's a fixer-upper. According to legend, the owner was obsessed with baking marzipan men cookies. You mean gingerbread men cookies? Gingerbread men are sweet. Marzipan men are evil. One night, during a terrible thunderstorm, the marzipan men cookies came to life and... What? And what? No, Barry, no. He was never heard from again. Shall we see what's inside? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> Do you think that's the ghost of the owner? Or a talking cookie? Neither. It's probably some elderberry. We have your order! Give it to me, or I will destroy you! Creepy at all. We're good. We're good. Ah, we're not good! Girl, it's a mixer. Okay, okay. Wait, where's Blueberry? Oh, over here! Blueberry, watch out! Oh, stop! It's a Buddha's hand fruit. It tastes amazing in tarts. Now come here. We'll just drop these off and go home. Holy donuts! Blueberry. Put the cookie cutter down. It's freaking strawberry out. Sure thing. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Please tell me you have a rational explanation for that. I do not. What are you doing here? Everybody move! <laughs> Get back here! What's wrong, girls? Huh? Mr. Mangostein? Why are you here? My fiance, Bobby Banana Bee, and I just bought the place. We've been cleaning it up and getting rid of the excessive amount of oddly dangerous cookware. Wait, wait, but, 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 but what about that horrible voice? Thanks for the smoothie. <clears throat> Much better. All the dust in here gave me a sore throat. But you said you would destroy us. Oh, I was playing Barry Brothers Smash on my phone upstairs. Come on, girls. Let me show you the reason Bobby and I bought this old place. We couldn't pass up this garden. Maybe we did let our imaginations run a little wild. Oh, look! Another marzipan man. We keep finding these little guys everywhere. <laughs> Gingerbread men are sweet. Marzipan men are evil. Do you girls want to stay? No thanks, gotta go now, bye! Mm -hmm. Bonanza is a dance, dance, jump, jump, cheers, twist, bites. Come on, it's the hottest trend on Tic Taco. What are those two doing? They've been working on their Tic Taco dance all day. Social media is pretty specific, huh? Ooh, I'm really messy. <gasps> oh. Where in the Ding Dong Danish did this mess come from? It was them! them. Oh. Get these critters out of here. The Berry Works isn't a petting zoo. Hold the scone! The pets didn't make that mess. It was... Sweet tea. They're covered in evidence. That's just because... I only want to see critters on cute viral internet videos or stuffed and mounted on my wall, not at the Berry Works. Lock them up until you can take them home. Starting tomorrow, they're banned! Banned? <laughs> I'm sorry, Custard. I wish we could figure out what to do. 
The pets weren't even the ones doing the trendy dance. I know, and imagine cute pets doing a tick taco trend. It would have been so cute, Crabapple would have had to let them stay. Nah, that's too crazy. We'll think of something, I promise. Be any cuter? Aww. That's the barbacoa bonanza. Too bad they don't have tacos. That would really be something. <laughs> this should be on the internet. We just need 300 donuts, a motorcycle, a fishing rod, and whoa! Hmm. What in the banana cream pie is all this commotion? Yay! <laughs> huh, I guess the pets do add value. We still can't have them here if they're gonna keep making a mess. Come on, cheese! Those pets are blasting us! They charge five bucks an autograph, and I keep 60% of the total earnings. 40. 50. Deal. Hmm. <laughs> wow, look at the mess those pets made. Ow, 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 ow. I think what Custard is trying to say is. Pets make everything better. Hey, Shortcakes! You're really looking great out there! Awesome job! Woo! Getting better at being amazing is hungry work. Snack time? Great idea! Every berry to the spicy pizza stand! Uh, spicy? Pizza? <laughs> oh, yeah! Um, so, just how spicy is this pizza? It's like tasting lava! It'll melt your pizza! Okay, I'll just ask for non-spicy. <gasps> Do not ask for any changes. Spicy Crust only sells spicy pizza. What? Psh. All any chef or baker wants is to make their customers happy. <laughs> just follow our lead. <gasps> One slice of spicy pizza, please. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, I cannot do that. How you doing, Mr. Spicy Grass? <laughs> yeah, love what you got going on here. The way every berry orders one slice of spicy pizza. Mm. Really cool, cool, cool. Any berry ever mix it up and order one slice of slicey pizza? Because <laughs> you know that would be total air on my right or what? <laughs> I can see you're busy. I'll take a slice of pizza. You know, not spicy. Mm, my name is Spicy Crust. This is the spicy pizza stand. No spice, no pizza for you! <laughs> we tried to warn you, shortcakes. Let me try to get you a slice. One slice of spicy pizza, please. You already had a piece today. This is uh, uh, for my friend? She, she was just trying to... No, that's <gasps> for you! <sighs> I wrote a song about the power of forgiveness. Love... No, that's for you! The universe told me you would be much happier mm. if you ever eat it. We'll give you this lend a hand 5,000 for an extra slice of pizza. It could help you toss pizza dough. No pizza for you! You are your robot! Good day. I'm Beef Wellington, Strawberry's uncle. Please give her another opportunity mm. for some pizza! No pizza for any of you! Oh, that's it! How can you 
don't treat your customers this way. If Sunbury doesn't want sprinkles on their cupcake, you know what I do? I don't put sprinkles on it. Because it makes berries happy. No pizza's good enough for you to go around scaring every berry. <laughs> Spicy pizza's all I know how to make. <laughs> oh, look, there's nothing to cry about. All you need is to find some berry who can show you how to make other kinds of pizza. But I've been so mean. Who would do that for me? Veggie pizza! <laughs> and it's not spicy! You did! I knew you had it in you! I can make all kinds of pizza now! Oh, ho, ho. thank you, Strawberry! But, uh, my spicy pizza is still my specialty. It would mean a lot if, uh, you'd give it a try. I, um, well. Okay. So you like it? Oh! <laughs> yes! So good! <laughs> oh, what a day! Ever since Crab Apple Jam took over the Berry Works, things have been way busier! But the best thing about the Berry Works is I can always take a break with my Berry Besties! <laughs> oh, okay, okay! Oh, I forgot! Oh, come on, Mike, you can do this! Or that was the best part. What's next on my list? Hosing down the courtyard? <sighs> now, don't you look like a bovine at a barbecue? What's wrong, sweetie? With things so busy, I'm just missing hanging with my besties. Well, success takes sacrifice. Sometimes, berries grow apart. Grow apart? You want to make it big and bacon? You got to make the hard choices. so busy and I barely see you and I just think we should get together because I don't want to make our choices. Sounds fun, but we're so busy. I can do three Tuesdays from now. Do we have time for a party? Um, too late, before it's too late. Well, if we get everything done. Right, here are some handmade invitations I just made. I'm super excited, it's gonna be amazing. See you tomorrow. Wait, when did you even make these? Well, this is super cute. We're gonna laugh, eat, sing, and get a group photo to remember this night for always. Ooh, happy birthday! Huh? Ooh, karaoke! And a photo book! <laughs> Say besties! Besties? What? You're leaving? Sorry, Crab Apple Jam has me on a tight smoothie schedule. But the group photo. <gasps> uh. Hi. Hello, Strawberry Shortcake. Lemon is unavailable, but sent me. I love to party e -e -e with friends. Uh. Sorry, Strawberry, we tried, but there's still so much to do. We thought we could video chat instead. Yeah, that way we can still... We can still what? Still what? <sighs> At least there's blue bit. My dearest Strawberry, sadly I cannot make it to your party, but know that I am always there in spirit. Love, Blueberry. Yes, my spirit says great cupcakes. Okay, that's creepy. Hey. you okay? Sure. What a party, what a party. Me, you, the Cakeinator, and Custard. <laughs> Every berry's busy. You know what they say. Success takes sacrifice. I'm sorry, who says that? I am very busy and very successful. That does not mean I don't see my friends. It doesn't? No! Why choose between friend time and work time? Do both. Do both? That way we can still party while we work. Hmm. Do I want to make it big and baking? Yes. Do I love my friends? Yes! Do I have to choose between them? No! Thank you. A party? 
now. <laughs> you berries know I can't stand goofing off when they're... Awesome friendship party, shortcakes. <laughs> What's all this? You were right. Success does take sacrifice. But doing it with friends makes it a lot easier. Woo! All this hard work deserves a photo break. Oh, do you mind? Say besties. Besties. besties! The campsite is changing. We can feel it in the air. Smell it in the fire. Much that once was would never be the same. It began with the forging of the s'mores. Glorious, powerful s'mores. But not all berries agreed on how best to forge the marshmallow. <gasps> the best marshmallow is charred outside and tongue goo inside. I disagree. The best marshmallow is warm, golden, slow toasted by the edge of the fire, like so. No way. I'm with Orange. I want mine to have some crust. Same. I prefer my marshmallows raw. Say no to marshmallow cruelty. But I do like my chocolate super melty. Hmm, <laughs> weird. I can get on board with that. We have plenty of marshmallows. So every berry can enjoy their s'mores exactly the way they want. But they were deceived, all of them. For it was as if the marshmallows resisted. Stop! Oh, get it off! Oh, it's fine. We have tons of marshmallows. A goat? Oh, great. Uh, no way. Look! There's one marshmallow left. Berry turned on berry. Fellowships were broken. For there was now but one marshmallow to rule them all. Okay. Let's all take a ah! Ah! Gotcha. No, you'll ruin it. to the campsite. Are you... are you narrating this? Eh, some berry has to make sense of the chaos. Ah! Ah! I can fix that. Uh, nope. I got it! I got it! <gasps> nah. -uh. Give it to us. The army of the burnt demands crispy outside, gooey inside. No, the golden warm fellowship deserves the marshmallow. No marshmallows need be hurt. We will protect it. I could make the greatest s'more there ever was. Berries would look on its beauty and despair. And that is when Strawberry realized what she must do. <laughs> <laughs> making us destroy each other. And no dessert is worth that. I'd rather have no s'mores than no friends. You're right, Shortcakes. It was just a marshmallow. It was at that moment. Please stop that. I'm sorry. It's just that... <gasps> I knew this log was too soft and squishy. Look what I've been sitting on. See? Looks like we can have s'mores and fellowship. Now, where did I put the graham crackers? <laughs> The marshmallow was just the first chapter of the Lord of the. Ah! Mm. Mm. We're back. How long were we hiking for? Days? Weeks? It's been three hours. Ah! A bear! No, it's me. I'm starving. Fear not, berries. The boys have got you covered. We made dinner. Oh, so we made stone soup. It's a story my Grammy Pie Crust used to read to me. You start with boiling water and rocks, and you add food until it tastes delicious. 
Oh, oh, not yeah. too. Oh, it's like dog flavored water. I'll just cook something from the RV. So, there's no food. We used everything. Why would you do that? We thought if we kept throwing food in the pot, it would taste good eventually. What? I'm a big picture, Barry. He handled the actual cooking. So there's nothing to eat? <laughs> I think we can make it work. It's just a matter of time before we turn on each other for survival. Oh, we'll be fine. We're standing in nature's grocery store. And this guidebook lists exactly what we can and can't eat all around us. We'll make it delicious. Uh, are you smelling the same thing we are? When I was a little sprout and I would mess up a recipe, my cranberry jam used to sing me this song. Sometimes things go sour and recipes go wrong. Sometimes I want to give up, but then I sing this song. Might not know every answer, might not know what to do. But I know if I keep trying, I can bake things right and true. I'm a baker, not a wizard. Just try it. That's not terrible. Just wait until you taste my Grammy Pie Crust famous dessert, stone souffle. <laughs> Thanks, Cranberry Jam. You too, Grammy Pie Crust. Camping trip together with all my very best. I used to love sleeping under the stars in Berryville. It really is nice to get in touch with nature. Where's everybody else? <gasps> I feel a disturbance in the forest. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> I love the smell of filter purified air in the morning. Wow, this is like a mansion. On wheels! In the woods! It's also not camping. Nope. It's better. It's glamping. The Extravagance Express has Wi-Fi, a solar generator, a rooftop bowling alley, and this. We're supposed to be roughing it! I'm walking in the dirt. What else do you want? Camping, glamping. As long as we're together, does it really matter? We can have both. Great idea! It'll be a contest! You set up your way, we set up our way, then we'll see what's best. No, no, that's... And whoever wins gets to decide how the rest of the weekend goes. Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Campers versus glampers. It is on! Oh, that really escalated quickly. Uh -huh. 
the best way to keep the bugs off? Uh, 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 stop it. How do you get rid of bugs, Blueberry? I just ask nicely. <laughs> Best way to fish? Ah, I prefer to use Luxure Eats. They'll deliver anywhere. Sushi, any berry? Yeah, on! I think the best way to relax out here is with a little music. <laughs> so relaxing. trip I was hoping for. So, it all comes down to dinner. Face Clamp has sweet potato stew, grilled shrimp, and lavender marshmallow fluff honeycomb for dessert. And what are the campers eating? We're having hot dogs. It's safe to say Face Clamp is the... What just happened? You've been running your RV all day, so it's out of juice. And that means... No fire, no massage chairs, no music, no Wi-Fi. <laughs> nope. Ah! Oh, 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 the campers are happy to share our fire with the glampers. As long as you all say camping is better. Fine. Camping is... and campers are all getting wet. Thank you, Thunderstorm, you great equalizer, yeah! <laughs> We're all the same! Girl, get out of the rain! Veggie tray, any berry? This camping and glamping trip is pretty great, even if we don't get to sleep under the stars. Oh, there's an app for that. Ooh. Technology. Ooh. <laughs> Any berry have a phone charger? Thanks, Custard. Woo, <laughs> what a crowd. <laughs> Hot cross buns! Crab apple jam wants Olali Berry Crisps for a VIP party I'm throwing. I reckon you're the perfect baker to do it. Thank you. I'm a bit particular, though. Citrus Island's lemon, brown sugar from Brown Sugar Beach, and Olali Berry's might be out of season. It's just, today's pretty busy, and to get the ingredients, I'll have to close my truck and... Oh, you can't close the truck. I forgot how inexperienced you are. If it's too much, I'll ask some berry No, 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 no. I can do it all. Oh, lovely. I need it in two hours. The twins can supervise. Twins? <gasps> Holy donuts! I'm on it. We will watch. With both eyes. Who can I trust to shop so I can keep the truck open? Huck is making deliveries for raspberry. Orange is busy. Blueberry is blueberry. Hmm, who could I? Hey, maybe you can do it, Custard. Mm -hmm. Amazing! You're a lifesaver! Citrus Island's lemon? No problem! Ugh, darn tablet! <laughs> Citrus Island's lemon on the house. A lot of brown sugar, though. Sugar? Of course! I 
just went kite surfing at Brown Sugar Beach. I'll get it for you. Just keep Honeydew Sorbet company for me. Yeah. <laughs> One number two, Lady Whiskerson. Here you are, Custard. <laughs> Talk strawberry. I got your lolly berries right here. If you got the right moves. I can't believe a cat beat me. <laughs> Tell Strawberry we say hi. Never even left. Totally, Chris Pless. It's really my fault, I guess. Expected too much. Just in time. I hope you like it. It looks just peachy. I thought she never left. She didn't. Well then, where did all those ingredients come from? <laughs> Nika. Amazing news! The Big Apple City Museum of Natural History is hosting a seminar tonight on the various strands of rock candy native to the Stone Fruit Mountains. A seminar on rocks? That sounds fascinating! I was hoping I could spend an evening of educational rocking and rolling with my little limestone. That would magma day. <laughs> <laughs> See you tonight, Papa. <laughs> it's pretty adorable how much you and your Papa have in common. Hello, my dearest daughter. I have the most stupendous news. Coco Lachelle is showing her new fashion collection tonight, and I have two tickets. As I'm quite chiffoned of you, I was hoping we could attend together. Uh-huh. See you tonight. Fine. How can you go to the rock seminar and the fashion show? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> what am I gonna do? But Pat taught me to love learning, but Dad taught me to love fashion. I love both. No matter what I do, I'm letting one of them down. I can't make a decision. I'm really so confused. I don't like these options. Each choice means that I still lose. This or that, or those or these. Oh, I don't really know. I'm split right down the middle. Which way should I go? Any way you slice it, I miss out on something fun. Everything is ruined even before it's begun. Any way you slice it, the answer I can't see. I'm pulled in both directions, but both directions are me. I think I might go this way. No, wait, I think that's wrong. Go back and turn around now. I still can't find where I belong. Right or left, left or right, or up or down. Each way is not quite right. I'm split right down the middle while both sides fight. Any way you slice it, I miss out on something fun. Everything is ruined even before it's begun. But both directions are me. There's a lot of slices when you bake a cake. Delicious choices, which one to take? Oh, it doesn't matter when each one is great. So whatever it is you do. We all love each part of you. What are you doing here? 
have a date with our daughter. What are you doing here? Actually, there's an exhibit at the Cuban Time Museum about the history of Big Apple City fashion. I was thinking maybe we could all go together. We can both spend the evening doing something we love. Exactly. History for you and fashion for you. <laughs> no, Mika, what we both love most is spending time as a family, both of us together with you. Any way you slice it, that is one adorable family. <sighs> it is so nice to be able to bake in peace without having to worry about the peculiar purple... Hey there, Snortflake. Huh? Hello, fellow young people. Have you checked out that totally radical new spot across the street? The Peculiar Purple Pie Works. It's like totally trending. Why hang with old school bakers when you can buy from trend makers? Check this upside down muffin. It's hashtag fire emoji. So that youth seems to know what's cool. Why is every berry leaving the berry works? This is a disaster. Every berry in my office emergency meeting. On second thought, back to the courtyard. Our customers left for the pie works. And with no customers, Crab Apple Jam will be upset. And if she's upset, she'll fire me. And if she fires me, my mother. <laughs> <clears throat> the pie works is popular because it's trendy. So, we have to be trendier. I've studied all the latest trends in market research. If we follow them, we can't fail. Wow! Are you sure? I've always just followed my gut, not trends. <laughs> and things have worked out pretty well for me in the past. The past isn't trending. The now is trending. <laughs> Scratch that. The future is trending! Okay, Truth Fairy, I don't think this is gonna work. But Brett is our friend. Strawberries aren't trending. <laughs> Smoothies are so last week. What people want now are peanut butter sculptures of celebrities with salted caramel sauce. I'm sorry, what? Pet parades are huge on TikToko. March! The data shows attention spans are getting shorter by the second! Every berry needs to work triple. No, quadruple speed! <laughs> not enough! We're not hitting the nostalgia trend yet. Strawberry! Where this? Are you sure? I just think we should focus on something simple. We've got to go quintuple speed now! Cuter pet parade. To the sculpture! I'm sorry, what? Faster! Cuter! Where's the nostalgia? Hey, I know you're trying really, really hard, but I think it's time you listen to your gut. Classic looks are out. Robots are in. Bring me the cakeinator! A robot? Really? Data be wrong! What's that? That is my very fairy oven. Earlier, I asked my gut what today needed. And the answer? Sugar cookie twists. Sugar cookies are trending. Sugar cookies never trend. Are those sugar cookies? Mm. Mm. Sometimes to find the best treat for your gut, you've got to trust your gut. Come on! <laughs> I wrote a rap about how awesome the pie works is. I'm Peculiar P, and I'm here to say eating purple treats is the coolest way to be cool. Um, a boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you know, some berries are just too focused on trends. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Welcome to my basement. Are you ready for the most epic, out of control slumber party you've ever slumbered? Honestly, your brains might melt. Lemon is very excited about her first big slumber party. <laughs> it's really cute. Nothing can go wrong tonight. Everything has to be perfect. Lemon's
after your very besties want some pizza bagels, chicken taquitos, jalapeno poppers? Dad! The Berry Works Best Bakers don't want your frozen appetizers. I like pizza bagels. <sighs> Sorry about that. Nothing can prepare you for the night that lies ahead. Behold, the Slumber Party 99,537! Supposed to be doing that? Okay, yeah, that's a no then. I've got this. Hold on. Ow! Whoa. Where's that? Ow. Anyway. Oh. oh! You berries okay? That was a bigger explosion than we usually get. We're fine, Dad. I'll have the lights back on and I Oh, the power is out across the entire city this time, kiddo. Guess we're <laughs> powerless to stop it. Seriously, Dad? You know, I used to throw some pretty epic slumber parties. I have a party finder with an entire chapter of games to play in the dark. Or if your vibe is... Our vibe is no dad's. Please. Vibe noted. This dad is here if you need him. Don't worry, I can fix this. We can still have fun. Lemon, none of us are worried. A game of human pretzel with the lend a hand 5,000? Wrestling with the Hugmeister 3,000? No, they need power. How about Blanket Fort 33,000? We can construct a multi level blanket maze. No power needed! Okay, power is better. I can get this to work on batteries. I just need like 10,433 AA's. Maybe we leave the slumber party 9,011 something alone? Oh, you can all go home if you want to. What? Why would we want to go home? I don't know. Because my dad is embarrassing, my machine is destroyed, and I've basically ruined slumber parties for all time and existence. <laughs> Lemon, none of that stuff matters. We're here because we like you. You don't need to impress us. We're gonna have fun together no matter what we do. Really? Totally! Besides, we kind of expect explosions at this point. And all the power in the city, I mean, that's impressive. Huh, it is, isn't it? So what should we do? You have any ideas? No, but I know somebody who wants tonight to go as well as you do. Dad! Uh, my friends and I were wondering if... I have the perfect game! My slumber party turned out perfect. Because my friends like me for me. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're it, Blueberry! Oh, got me! Flashlight tag is awesome! Oh, hey, power's back! Now we can do the other stuff you wanted. Nah, we're already having fun. <laughs> Ugh, you know it's hot when you don't need the oven to burn the cookies. <laughs> we need cool ideas and we need them fast. We could think cool thoughts. Cool. No. Glaciers. In the sun. Hot. Melting. No! Oh! I brain fried my cold thoughts. You know, if I was back in Berryville, this would be the perfect day for a dip in the old watering hole. Watering? Hole? Does she know who she's talking to? Swimming does sound fantastic. Unfortunately, the only pool in the city is at the Upper Crust Social Club, and it's very exclusive. I bet on a day like today, they're gonna make an exception. <laughs> Especially if we ask really nicely. No. It's such a hot day. Don't you think you should open up the pool so every berry in the city can enjoy it? The upper crust swimming pool is to be enjoyed by members only. 
no berries even in the pool. They're not even wearing swimsuits. Their pool, their rules. It was a nice try, shortcakes. Ooh, we are getting in there. Please, can you let my poor pet cool off in your pool? No. My friend wrote a song about sharing. No. <gasps> Propagate an exclusive use of a pool based purely on a capitalist system enforces an unfair class system, which is particularly unjust given the human rights. And the fish are swimming away! What? This is a disaster! Blueberry mousseline, raspberry gelée, and two, two berries on top. I can't believe Crab Apple Jam is throwing Ben off these birthday bash right here in the greenhouse. I can't believe she asked us to make the cake. Is it too big? Crab Apple Jam said the bigger the better. What is she up to? What's the catch? No catch, just good on his baking. And Banoffee's gonna love it! <gasps> no, if she never sees it! Where did you two come from? The Cumin Time Museum, where Banoffee's birthday party is. Didn't you hear it's moved? No! Oh, however will you get such a big cake there in the next 20 minutes? <laughs> There's the catch. Don't you worry. Strawberry shortcake and raspberry tart know how important this is. I'm sure they won't let you down. Where are they? I cannot believe she moved the party and didn't sue us. Bus complaining. More pushing. We have less than 20 minutes.
as fast as a herd of turtles. But what exactly did you deliver? <laughs> this? Well, <clears throat> uh, this is... Um, so it's... Special a... delivery for Banabi! Oh, we figured you would appreciate a dramatic entrance. After all, for Banafi, it's all about the presentation. <laughs> it wasn't hard to figure out what happened. They left layers of cake all over the city. Seems like you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. <laughs> when you have good friends, everything is a piece of cake. And big days need big treats. After all, can't watch Bite of the City without a Bite of the City. Get it? Because they look like the city. Why are you so excited? Crab Apple Jam is a guest judge on Bite of the City. A sweet country baker who moved to the city to make all her delicious dreams come true. Sound like any fairy you know? Apparently, she's making some big announcement. Kiki, I've done just about everything I dreamed when it comes to baking. So I said to myself, Crabapple, what's going to be your cherry on top? Well, I'm as pleased as a possum in a petunia patch to announce the new home for my baking headquarters, the Big Apple Berry Works. Crabapple Jam is taking over the Berry Works? I wonder if Bread knows. No! He knows. If I'm not Berry Works assistant manager anymore, if I can't boss berries around, then who am I? Yeah, he's broken. What does this mean for the Berry Works? Are we getting kicked out? Okay. Very calm down. I find that when I breathe deeply and take in the energy around me, I can see things through calmer eyes. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, Blueberry. <sighs> I think we should panic. <laughs> Jam is one of the nicest bakers in the city. Like me. She's got that country charm. Like me. We'll talk to each other country baker to country baker. What does talking country baker even mean? Well, now, don't y'all look as depressed as a bunch of dolphins in the desert. What's wrong? Hi, strawberry shortcake. My friends are all as worried as a whale in a wheat field, but I said I knew you'd clear things right up. Oh, that's what it means. Of course y'all are worried after your experience with that rotten purple pie man. This is totally different. Am I running the berry works now? Yes, but I barely want to change a thing. Y'all have nothing to worry about. See? Nothing to worry about. Well, I'm heading up to the greenhouse, my new restaurant headquarters and gift shop. Cheese strudel and cherry streusel will share the new guidelines with you. Who are some jam on bread? You take these. You read these. You live these. A few new rules aren't a big. Ah! No berry may sell the following without express permission from crab apple jam. Baked goods? Drinks? Smoothies? Ice cream? That's an incredibly specific list. I see some no-nos. <laughs> okay, not what we were expecting. But I'm sure it's nothing we can't figure <laughs> out. <sighs> Crab Apple Jam's new rules are ruining the berry works. But I'm sure 
if I explain things to her nicely, she'll understand. I don't understand. Rules are rules. I can't have y'all selling the same goodies I do. That would be pretty bad for my business. But I'm not gonna have any problems from a sweet country berry like you, am I? Well, good. Glad we had this chat. <laughs> That muffin is a violation! I'm eating it, not selling it! Hmm. Oh. That is one weird berry. What's going on? Welcome to the Resistance. Sweet! How can I help? Well, we've got posters and we're planning a march, but I think we need something bigger. Any ideas? If she won't let us sell what we usually do, we need to sell something different. <gasps> I love it, shortcakes. If none of us are allowed to sell our own treats, then all of us are gonna work together and sell something new. When you're lost and fall and stumble, when the souffle's falling, all the cookies crumble. Just what we, we have to say. We're gonna shake things up, it's time to save the day. Sweet victory, stand up and fight, fight. Sweet victory, we gotta fight to do what's right, right. Sweet victory, stand up and fight, fight. You know we're sweet, we're strong, we're gonna set things right, right. No stopping us. smoothie, a drink, or an ice cream. It's all of them, so we're respecting your rules. And Barry seemed to love it. Well, isn't that clever of you? And it's so uh, popular. But maybe y'all should go back to selling the things you did before. Great. 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 